Anyway, folks, welcome back to my chat. We've got a lot to show you today. We're going over the ball. We've got a lot, lot, lot to show you. So I've got to cut this out in two parts. This is part one, and then I'll do part two next week. It's supposed to be the old videos, the new ones that you haven't seen, but old to me because I filmed them ages ago. But I thought to nah, what the hell? I bought loads of stuff. Let's show you what we got straight after this. Anyway, folks, here we go. Let's show you what I've got. So we have got, I went down the boot sales, toy fairs. I've been ordering online. I went overboard, you can say. Um, so first of all, I don't know if I've got this. I think I have, but I thought I'd get it again. Got it from the toy fair. It was Loki. The, um, the retro Lokis, Marvels. I think I've got it. Only cost me a fiver. I thought I'll take the chance. If I've got it, I've got it. If I haven't, I haven't, but I've got Lokis. Really, really good card art, wicked. I collect these uh, 3.75 Marvel Legends retro figures, and I've got quite a few, so I'm still waiting for a couple to come in the post. But yeah, it's got a picture of Loki, all of these detailed stuff, and there's Loki there. All of this, I will show you close up afterwards. But we've got Loki, and we had, I'm not into NECA, but I saw this and I was like, man, I've got to snap this up. It cost me about 30, 35 pound, and it was the Robocop. The Robocop Necker, absolute blinding. I love this. Just like the video VHS uh, box with the old Robocop. Nice graphical art on it, back and stuff. Tells the details and stuff when you open it up. Yeah, I've got Robocop himself. Wicked, absolute wicked articulation. Got a face there, got his guns. I don't know what that white thing is there, um, but he's got a, a massive other gun. And it's pretty good, really, really good style. That's what it should look like out of the packaging. But I'll keep it in the packaging because I'm a packager who likes to keep it in the package, packaging just in case I have to sell it on. Or if I get rid of my toys, I think, right, you know, let's get rid of it. And there you go, it's still in its artwork. So, Necker, Robocop, blinding, love the box artwork, wicked. We'll show this straight after this uh, close up. So, it was a Robocop. And one of these toys, which I've never ever seen before, it is, don't know if you've seen it, might have seen it, I've never seen it, but I've snapped this up and I was like, yeah, pretty cool. Asterix, Asterix, never seen it before. <clears throat> Had quite a few, like uh, the guards and stuff and that, and I thought it was like, Asterix, man, I snapped it up, 35 quid, blinded. So you've got one side, you've got uh, all the details, got the box there all the figures inside, little pamphlet in that. We'll have a little look straight after we've done everything, but um, that's the Asterix. Put this back in the box, it's pretty good. And we picked up, let's have a little look, let's have a little look. We have got the new Master of the Universe Tongue Lasher. Tongue Lasher, absolute wiki, wiki wiki card art, got a comic. The tongue action is not in there where the old style is, uh, where you wind the back and his tongue comes in there. You have to attach the tongue to the face. He's got his comic, um, really nice detail. The sticker is completely straight, blinding. Comic at the back, um, at the back of it is wiki card art again. It tells you how to attach the tongue to its face and to have his staff. And in the line was Snake Armor, Skeletor, Roboto, Hypno and Tongue Lasher. So yeah, pretty cool. A little bit, the car's a little bit bent. Amazon, twat. But yeah, that was the uh, the new Tongue Lasher for Master of the Universe Origins. And we have the, the old style. Pretty good. So that is the old style to the new style. So we do a close up of that in a minute. But yeah, that was uh, the Tongue Lasher. Absolutely blinding. What else did we get, Mick? We have got. Bum, 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 bum. We have got. Snake Armor Skeletor. Absolute wicked. Another Snake Armor card. Retro. Blinding. And it's straight again. Look at that. And it's unpunched. Both unpunched. Wicked. So, um, got his comic. Wicked detail on Snake Armor Skeletor there. Um, he's got his comic at the back, he's got his weapons at the back. 
and at the back of it you had tongue lasher, snake arm skeletor, hypno and roboto and wicked card art there with um, king hiss, snake arm skeletor fighting snake armor he-man and uh, yeah it's pretty cool I love these cards so let's have a little look at uh, the uh, close up of this and the comparison of um, Tongue Lasher. Here we go, let's have a little look. And then we do the final box in a minute. So here we go, Tongue Lasher, Master of the Universe, Snake, the old Snake card. Tongue Lasher, absolutely wicked, look at that. It's almost the same as the, uh, the retro one. It's all about the light folks, but um, I'm doing this over night time, so uh, bear with me. But yeah, there's the, uh, the new Tongue Lasher. So he's got a hole there in his mouth, so you got to put the tongue. And the colour scheme ain't too bad, see, nice, nice, uh, oh, let me, uh, focus that in. So you got that one, the new one, and you got the old one. But yeah, you go side by side. You can't really tell because oh, I've got the light on, but they're almost exactly the similar, exactly the similar kind of pink and uh, dark colours you can say yeah all, all in all it's almost the same pretty cool I do like that nice staffs and that that is, is, is almost similar you can say one's got like you know bends the elbows and knees where this one don't and that's got the the wind at the back where his tongue comes in and out where this one don't he had to attach to his mouth you can say that's almost the same Similar colours, but yeah, uh, all in all, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, where are we now? We go Snake Armor He Man, oh, uh, Snake Armor Skeletor, Wicked Graphic Art Work, Blinding. I like the way I've designed this Skeletor, it's pretty cool. Looks more meaner. It's pretty, his face don't glow in the dark. Which is pretty, yeah, would have been good. Straight sticker there. Wicked uh, body armor on the guy. His face is a bit menacing. Yeah, it's pity they didn't glow that in the dark, it would have been good. It's really good, I like the old heart armor on it. Pretty good. It's got his comic at the back and that and, and all this. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to me in the studio and. Uh, and see what the last box is and I think the last box is my favourite so yeah there you go so there you go folks we've done a close up with the Origins Tongue Lasher and the uh, the old one and the new Snake Arm Skeletor so let's take these down so that was them there's the old, uh, the old, old tongue lasher. He's, his tongue goes backwards and forwards like that. And you've got the wind up mechanism at the back. With the new one, you've got to get the, the tongue and you've got to put it into his uh, mouth at the front. So, it's a pity they haven't got this wind up action. But yeah, that's the, uh, the old one to the new one. So, let's put them down now. And let's do the last box. Which is pretty cool. And the last box from BBTS. We have bum, 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 bum. and what do we say? We don't need this, do we? No, we don't need that. And we have Thunder Punch He Man. Wicked. This is one of my favourites. Love that. Blinding. Card art is wicked. Absolute blinding. Old style head. Thunder Punch He Man. It's a pity he doesn't do the old snaps with the old caps. Remember the old caps? Um, he's got his shield, he's got a nice sword, he's got a bit what attaches to the uh, the, the punch to make it like fiery. And on the back there we got King Hiss, Rattler, King Cobra, Bump Man, Snake Arm He-Man and Thunder Punch He-Man. So you can attach that thingy to his fist, you can swing his action so it looks like he's hitting it with a kind of a fire. And you can see graphical artwork with these new figures what are coming out or out now like snake snake armor like horde troopers and i think there's wave 14 
Not too sure, I think it's waist fold one, but yeah, they're new out at the moment. But yeah, that is the snake, um, the Thunder Punch He Man, and talking about Thunder Punch He Man, there's the old one, Thunder Punch He Man. Wicked. So there you go, folks. The new one to the old one, just like Tongue Lasher, new one, old one. And, and I bought loads of these caps. You can put these at the back of the old one to make him. Like when he punches, he goes bang bang with the old caps. So I've got Sensu caps here, and they're all still in its uh, packaging now. I've got loads of them, tons of them up there. But yeah, that's what I got at the moment to put into my old He Man. So, what do we say now? Let's go and have a close up. Yo, folks, it's fun to punch He Man. Wicked card art, look at that, blinding. And it's a Dulux set. We're going down, we look at the old uh, Fun Bunch He Man. There you go. So basically you can say the new one has got yellow hair compared to the old one which is like more darker. The body's almost the same. The the uh the the body shield is exact almost exactly the same, one's dark, one's lighter. We go down the legs and all that is the same. And he's got his shield there. Wicked, look at that. He's got an extra almost a the swords are almost the same, and then we got these caps what I bought from the old one, and that's still in its packaging, so I've got loads of them for the old one. But the new one don't have the caps, you've got to pretend it makes the uh, the punch sound. So, uh, yeah, there's my Thunder Punch He Man, which I think is the best pickup what I've got today so far. There you go, folks. There is Robocop, absolutely blinding. Let's so have an open that up. And here's Robocop now. Wicked. There's our Robocop, so if I can go a little bit forward. It's all about the glare, folks. But yeah, here's a Robocop. Wicked detail. Good old face and that. Oh, it's hard to do this in the dark. There you go, folks. Wicked. Look at that. I don't know what that white thing is there. What is that white thing? It's like a kind of a... I ain't got a clue, but... Um, yeah, there's your old Robocop. Born in. Pretty cool. Right, and the Asterix. Let's have a little look at the Asterix. So yeah, got the, uh, I've got one of their names. Obelix, Obelix or something. Oh, weird, some weird fucking names they got. Yeah, this is the first time I got it out of the old packaging. Nothing in the box. Let's have a little look. We've so got bits and pieces here. Got the fat dude, you've got instructions, you've got the little guy. You've got a big massive rock. It's uh. Let's see if I can put this together and then we come back. There's your box. And I've tried to do the same now, but it's a bit hard when you're trying to put it on the bed. Got the big guy and stuff, so yeah, pretty good. Little guy with the sword. And the two pigs, the little dog, the helmets. The big guy carrying the rock. It's not bad, not bad. Pretty cool. I think this has gone up in value, that's why it's quite expensive online to get, but um, oh no, I think that was a good buy for uh, for the money what I got. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Booked it there where it shows you all the other asterisk stuff you can get. But I think this is an old line what came out ages ago. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I quite like it, I snapped it up, that's why. So yeah, the old asterisk. I remember the comics and the books years ago as a kid, but um, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's in the line. I think you can get uh, all these other characters, houses and stuff, and donkeys and horses and Romans and gladiators and a few weird characters and stuff. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. You've got like Romans on horses and chariots. Got a boat there. That's the one 
that's the one I just showed you. Your Roman Empire. And, uh, yeah, I never knew about this line, but, yeah, that's the Asterix. Right, back to me in the studio. So there you go, folks. We've done a close-up of He-Man with the old one to the new one, Thunder Punch. We've done a close-up with Tongue Lasher, the old one to the new one. We had Snake Armor Skeletor, absolutely wicked. We had the five-pound Loki. I don't know if I've had it before. I've got it again just in case. And we had the Asterix set. Absolute blinding, really, really good. Never seen these figures before, but I picked that up for a still blinding. And we had the wicked Necker Robocop, which is wicked, wicked detail and stuff. But I'm not really going into Necker like vintage and poly dirt reissue stuff. There you go, folks. We had a we had a bit of a good Mike's chat today. So next week, part two of more stuff to come and. Uh, if you want to, if you've got anything to give away and you want to pass it to my way, is the email to get into contact with me and then we'll strike a deal and you can send it to me. And apart from that, thanks for watching. See you next week for part two. This is Mike's Chat. See you later. Thanks very much. There's many ways you can follow me on social media. Instagram, Mike's Chat, Facebook group, even subscribe to this page. Even click that notification bell for the next video content coming up. Or go to the about, email me if you've got anything to give away. Thanks very much and see you next time.